Greetings everyone, welcome to our channel. As technology advances and evolves, individuals with formal training and skills will find themselves in a position to take advantage of the best opportunities the field of computers and information technology has to offer. Computer science is one of the most lucrative field and career options nowadays. Most of us think that computer science is just for programmers and geeks. However, it's not completely true. Nowadays, computer science is not just about programming and algorithms. It is far more than that. Today, we're going to tell you about 10 high-paying jobs for computer science majors. Let's dive in. Number 10. Information Security Manager. Approximate salary of $102,360 annually. Information security managers are responsible for protecting their organization's computers, networks, and data against threats, such as security breaches, computer viruses, or attacks by cyber criminals. They assess the organization's security measures, such as firewalls, antivirus software, and passwords, to identify any weak points that might make information systems vulnerable to attack. They may carry out simulated attacks to test the efficiency of security measures. To ensure the safety of the networks, IS managers will also analyze reports generated by the monitoring system to identify trends that might indicate a future risk. They also provide training for employees, explaining security risks and demonstrating good practices. Additionally, they prioritize security coverage to ensure that strategically important data, such as commercial information or personal data, receives the highest levels of protection. A bachelor's degree in computer or information science is the minimum educational requirement to work as an information systems security manager. Number 9. Computer Systems Analyst $58,000 to $96,000 annually Computer systems analysts are the IT industry's specialized planners, designers, installers, and developers. Computer systems analysts customize computer systems to meet the information technology needs of most firms and organizations. Computer systems analysts work closely with programmers, software engineers, network security specialists, and management teams to coordinate and customize computer systems, cost benefit and return reports, and other information management tasks. Computer systems analysts must complete a minimum of a bachelor's degree in computer science, information science, information systems, management information systems, applied mathematics, business administration, or engineering. Present employment trends show employers prefer candidates with graduate degrees, particularly a master's in business administration, with a specialization in information systems combined with work experiences. Computer systems analysts earn salaries of $58,000 to $96,000 annually. Number 8. Software Quality Assurance Manager. Approximate salary $100,687 annually. Software quality assurance managers test software for potential problems or bugs. It is necessary to test new software before it's released to the public to be sure it's working properly. These quality assurance managers also test and maintain existing software used by major companies to help avoid any future problems. Software testing involves going through the typical uses of the program as well as potential misuses to see if problems or security issues arise. As a manager, they are likely to be setting up the testing parameters. In addition, they may have lower-level employees follow through the procedures before reporting back to a client or upper management. An example of these duties is a job posting by Comcast that was looking for a software quality assurance director to lead a team in the testing of its advanced video products. This job required not only the technical skills, but also the need for the person to manage budgets and maximize return on investment of the product tested. This posting requires a bachelor's degree in engineering, computer science, or equivalent as well as eight years' experience in software testing. Obviously, the only means to gain experience is to obtain employment, and that is done by earning the appropriate degree. Number 7. Business Continuity Analyst – $95,000 to $105,000 annually Business continuity analysts are the disaster relief experts in the IT industry. Business continuity analysts ensure that companies recover data and resume normal operations following blackouts or disasters. Business continuity analysts research and prepare recovery strategies based upon possible risks and potential losses. Business continuity analysts are leaders with an extensive knowledge of information security and risk management, who also train employees within businesses to execute recovery plans in the event of a disaster. Business continuity experts generally must obtain a minimum of a bachelor's degree in business, information management, or computer science to gain employment earning $95,000 to $105,000 annually. Number 6. Information Technology Director. Approximate salary $103,866 annually. 
The Information Technology Director is responsible for the overall planning, organizing, and execution of all IT functions within a business. This includes directing all IT operations to meet customer requirements, as well as the support and maintenance of existing applications and development of new technical solutions. They are responsible for directing the effective delivery of networks, development, and disaster recovery systems and processes. Typically, IT director jobs require at least a bachelor's degree and extensive experience. However, many employers prefer to hire candidates with a master's degree. A Bachelor of Science in Information Systems is required initially. To increase your knowledge and job prospects, a Master of Science in Information Technology can be obtained on campus or online. Both degrees may be obtained at Florida Tech University online as one example. Another consideration is a Master of Business Administration with a specialization in IT management. Number five, Data Modeler. $75,000 to $103,000 annually. Data modelers are system analysts who work closely with teams of architects, developing conceptual, logical, and physical data models for the binary processes of computers. Data modelers devise the processes which separate mass amounts of data in computer systems to reduce inessential or redundant data to improve data transfer between systems. Data modelers generally complete studies within bachelor or master degree programs in applied mathematics information systems management, or computer or information science. Earnings for data modelers range from $75,000 to $103,000 yearly. Number four, data architect, approximate salary $108,497 annually. In information technology, data architecture is composed of models, policies, rules, or standards that govern which data is collected and how it is stored, arranged, integrated, and put to use in data systems and in organizations. It provides a formal approach to creating and managing the flow of data and how it is processed across an organization's IT systems and applications. Data architecture is a broad term that refers to all of the processes and methodologies that address data at rest, data in motion, data sets, and how these relate to data-dependent processes and applications. It includes the primary data entities and data types and sources that are essential to an organization in its data sourcing and management needs. The theme continues in this profession in that the basic education is a bachelor's degree in information technology or related field. One advantage to pursuing a degree in one of the computer sciences is that several colleges offer online undergraduate and graduate degree programs. Number three, Network Security Administrator, $68,000 to $88,000 annually. Network Security Administrators are important members of IT teams who maintain and secure computer systems and data within firms and organizations. Systems administrators perform a number of far-ranging duties, including installing, supporting, and maintaining computer systems and servers. Network security administrators also perform light programming, project management, training to those who operate computers, consulting, and problem solving for operating issues, and supervisory skills to technical support and other staff. System administrators also devise plans to respond to service outages, internal and external threats. Training to become a network systems administrator requires a minimum of a bachelor's degree based in computer science, computer engineering, information technology, information system management, or system administration combined with work experience, as few graduate level programs exist. Annual earnings for network security administrators range from $68,000 to $88,000. Number two, data warehouse manager, approximate salary $105,966 annually. The job title itself connotes the image of someone in a typical massive warehouse with forklifts scurrying around with pallets of merchandise. However, as it relates to computer science, it plays a vital role in a business. This professional oversees the work of IT and business customers in developing requirements and design specifications for complex data warehouse systems. Their primary responsibilities are ensuring data standards and procedures, warehousing, designing and developing logical and physical data models and databases, distributing data management and information management functions. The data warehouse manager manages all aspects of a data warehouse, such as data sourcing, migration, quality, design, and implementation. There is no degree specific to data warehousing. However, many associate, bachelor's, and master's degree programs in information technology or systems include data warehouse concepts. These courses provide a study of the actions and means of analyzing, organizing, storing, retrieving, extracting, and loading data. Number one, 
computer and information scientists and researchers, $77,000 to $125,000 annually. Computer and information scientists and researchers develop and devise solutions to computer hardware and software issues. As expert theorists and inventors in the field of computer science and information technology, computer and information scientists and researchers are considered the innovators of invention and delegators of responsibility. Computer and information scientists and researchers have an in-depth understanding of business, engineering, scientific and technological fields, and lead government agencies, engineering firms, academic institutions, and private software publishers as integral members of research teams. Training to qualify as a computer and information scientist and researcher involves completing studies within a PhD program within disciplines like information systems, computer science, information technology, software engineering, and computer engineering. Salaries for computer and information scientists and researchers are $77,000 to $125,000 yearly. Most of the computer science students have a general question related to the highest paying jobs available in computer science. This list will help you discover all the relevant highest paying jobs in computer sciences. Nowadays, average salary is also an important parameter to be considered before choosing any career option. Every career option has a different skill requirement, so you must choose your field of interest wisely. There are a number of other jobs in the computer science field which do not require you to learn programming, and we've added those jobs in our list as well. These career options can also be used for earning money online as well. Are you interested in a computer sciences major? Are you struggling to find a job in this field? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay up to date for more interesting videos in the future.